You sensation on two, come check. That is a good calm check, and can you confirm that you can hear both Oleg and David in their epicas? Yes, we have good communication between crew members. All right, you are good to proceed. You have a go in step seven, decimal one. All right, and so with that go, and you heard seven decimal one, so that's the next step in their procedures, and that's for them to actually go in and start opening up the hatch. Seven decimal one is to move in close to the hatch. Seven decimal two is to open the hatch, so we are right there. So everyone keep an eye out. We should see that hatch opening momentarily. Again, you're going to see Oleg and David up at the hatch and hanging back in node two. Hopefully on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, inside the Dragon capsule, we might be able to see some of that hatch open activity. Yeah, it's really unique to have this, this perspective to have from, from both sides. So standing by for hatch open. And there you have it. Dragon Hatch is open. Anne McLean made the call. It was 5.07 a.m. Pacific. I think 8.07 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm doing some quick math in my head, and that's the International <laughs> Space Station. And Dragon docked together, flying over the northern Atlantic, about 255 statute miles in the air. So the Dragon Hatch is open. You can see an arm. This reaching is, in. This is the very first time that humans have been on orbit inside of a Dragon 2 capsule. Or any, oh, excuse me, not any Dragon, oh, a Dragon 2 capsule. <laughs> All right, they, again, so it looks like David St. Jacques, he's going to be the first one through. He's going to take some quick atmospheric readings. Uh, he's using a device that we have over on the U.S. side. There he is. David inside inside of Dragon. Human beings inside the Dragon spacecraft. You might hear some uh, cheers here from uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, this is just an incredible sight for the SpaceX team uh, to see these ISS crew members inside the capsule. And so they're going to use these two separate devices, uh, David using one and Ala Kononenko using another. And it takes them a couple of minutes usually uh, for the sample readers to gather what they need, and then they'll move back outside of Dragon, and again, just compare this to the generic background uh, readings that we have inside of another module on board the station. They should be heading over to the Destiny module, uh, just two, basically two doors down from Dragon now, uh, and they'll compare that, and then once everything looks good, uh, the teams expect to wait about half an hour, and then they'll start mixing the air between Dragon and the International Space Station. Zero G indicator getting a little bump there. He is now free to move about the cabin. And again, if you're just now joining us, the hatch is open inside of the Dragon spacecraft. Right now, two of the crew members from Expedition 58 are inside, just taking some atmospheric readings. It's Oleg Kononenko from the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, and David St. Jacques from the Canadian Space Agency. 
Uh, once they get what they need, they'll move back outside, compare the results to some readings just from another module on board the station. You can actually see one of them. So the cargo that Dragon delivered is just underneath the seats. There's about 400 pounds, a little over 400 pounds in total. You can see them inspecting some of those cargo bags down there. Oh. Can you tell we're in microgravity? <laughs> it's been indicated. 